Well, our Washington correspondent, Fraser Jackson, still with us. Fraser, look, this is a story you've covered closely. What's your sense as to how high the stakes are for, for Biden this week? What are you hearing? Well, I must say, I was at that press conference just two rows back from Ed, who was having that back and forth with Karine, and it was a very intense moment, something we've not seen in the White House for quite some time. And it, that just shows how, uh, how much political oxygen, really, this is taking up in the United States. The U.S. media is watching this ridiculously closely, it must be said. There is every single thing that comes out of Joe Biden's mouth is being scrutinized. Some would argue that that is a fair concern, considering that he is running for re-election. I think the European media that I'm talking to is, has a bit more of a laissez-faire attitude towards it. Uh, and they are more excited and um, looking at what's going to be given to Ukraine over the course of this summit. But it must be said, all of us are watching Joe Biden and how he delivers uh, his speeches over the next couple of days. He's going to meet meeting with Keir Starmer on Wednesday, the first meeting between the new British Prime Minister and Joe Biden. And then that solo press conference on Thursday is where everybody really uh, is watching because he will be talking to the press the first time he's done that on his own since November 2022. Uh, and we're expecting to get some some uh, some answers out of the president then. Uh, part of the reason the confusion behind this is because of the White House's changing lines as to why he had such a bad debate performance uh, back two weeks ago on Thursday uh, and they said it was because he was cut he had a cold he was also jet lagged they thought they might have had COVID uh, but those regions shifted over the course of a couple of days uh, and now we have this whole uh, this whole uh, new revelation about the Parkinson's doctor coming to the White House though it must be said the White House saying that that doctor was not there to see Biden he has had evaluations for Parkinson's three times within the last three years uh, but that was just part of his routine physical and that the doctor was not there purely uh, just for uh, Joe, Joe Biden.